Hey, how's everybody doing out there in the YouTube world? So, I know it's been a long time since I posted some videos. I've been busy doing my own thing and, um, you know, trying to get big in the truck industry and uh, get out there. And hopefully one of these days I'll have my own shop. We'll see what happens. Now, don't forget to uh, like my video and share my videos. Um, the shares and the likes definitely help. Um, of course, I'm not, like super experienced with the YouTube thing but hey I think I'm doing all right so go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel too if you want to see uh, some cool new videos now today I'm gonna post something about well I'm gonna talk about the 2008 uh, seats that I have just picked up I picked them up in California there are lariat seats I'm gonna put them in the 07 now the wiring is a little different. Um, it's not too, too hard, but I haven't seen too many YouTube videos about it. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I already put the back seats in. Those are pretty much self-explanatory. They bolt right up to your stock stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you where the bolts are anyways, just so you guys know. Now, the front ones are a little different. It requires wiring. Um, I also have a console for it. I'm going to do a little walk around of the front seats so you guys can check that out. But they are 2008 to 2010 seats. Um, they match my interior pretty well, so that's why I went with the tan leather because right now I have cloth. So check it out. This is the back seats, and I'm going to show you how I took them out and uh, put the new ones in. Okay. So these are it. These are 2010 Lariat seats with the leather. Uh, the rear is not heated. The front ones are heated. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, get the heated part to work yet first I'm gonna get the electronics to work and then work on that now I've already done the door panels as you can see I just have to do the seats now now the seats basically bolt right up to all the stock stuff so basically there's just bolts there bolt there and two on that side I believe they're 18s there's a bolt under there and then there's a bolt under that thing too you have to pull up the seat on that side to be able to access it so there's uh, two uh, two four six seven bolts holding this down uh, once you pull them off it's pretty easy just I would use a second person so then you don't scratch your door like that so now I gotta fix that but um, as you can see the front ones are still the cloth I'm going to be putting those in today. Alright. These are the new seats. So you can see. These are off of 2010. These are heated seats. Yeah, that looks so good. Nice. Alright, so in case you guys weren't sure, I'm going to show you how to take these out. These are the original seats, cloth. Now there's a bolt here, bolt there. There's two plugs under here. One's for the seatbelt, one's for the electronics. And back here, bolt there, and a bolt there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these seats out. It's the same thing on the other side. And uh, go from there. I got the new seats in, they literally bolt up to the stock factory holes. Now this is the wiring that I'm doing right here. Now this is a 2007 F350, so my power wire is this green wire, yeah I believe it's just green, and my ground is the black. And I believe this blue with the gray is... Or is it like blue with the brown? I think it's kind of brownish. That's for the seatbelt. So, the wiring for the seat, the power wires are this. So, the black with violet is ground, and the gray and red is power. All right, and if you look back here, there's a white connector. This white connector is for the seatbelt chime. So, basically, I believe it works as a ground cutout. So I'm going to cut these out completely, wire one side to a ground and the other side to the seatbelt that goes to the chime. 
and that should go ahead and get that working. So I'm going to wire these in. Um, I don't have connectors or anything right now. I'm just doing it like this for now. I ordered some online, so whenever they get here, I'll take care of that. But for now, that's it. I believe these three are for the heated seats. I'm going to be hooking that up, just not today. This is just to get your seats in and working. Uh, the heated seats will be a process because I'm going to have to add a button and all that stuff. So, um, But for now, those are your power cables and ground. And they go to that to your stock. Alright, let me go ahead and splice them together and then I'll get back to the video. Okay, so I got everything wired in. So this is what I did. I didn't cut the connector off the back. I used the plug itself. I cut the wires off of this main connector that we're not going to use. So it's a green and a black on this. And what I did was, this is the one for the seatbelt chime from the truck. I hooked it up to one side, which is the green. And the other side that's black and white, I put it on the ground. So now it has a ground. And once you click your seatbelt in, it'll create the circuit, which will stop it from chiming. And this is how you wire in the power again. And you should be good to go. Everything's working. All right, let me bolt it in so I can show you guys. Now, like I said, these three, I think, are for the heated seats. I'll be working on that another day, uh, waiting for some more connectors to come in and stuff like that. So let me get the seat bolted in, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got it all in. Everything's working awesome. There we go, go back, forward. It's got the adjustable seat back and forth. Real good. All right, so on to the next one. Looks great, I like that side piece too. All right, so back to the passenger side install. This side was a little different, but not much. Now, the way I hooked these up was the power which is usually the red with a gray that ended up having to go on the negative and the black ended up going on the black the black and violet goes on the black so which is the positive side so I had to wire it this way because the seat was going backwards the other way so I just reversed the polarities and it was fine so hook it up like that and you should be good to go um, that's it. Let me just button everything up and put the seat back in. I'll show you that it works and you're all set. So here's the passenger seat. Goes all the way back. It's hitting my sub box right there, but that's leather. Good to go. Alright, so now you guys know how to install these seats in there, and like I said, everything bolts up to the stock, to the stock uh, mounts. This is the rear. These are out of a 2010 F350. Everything bolts right up. So, should be good to go. Now everything looks super pimp. Very happy with the outcome. Everything matches real well. Now this leather definitely matches with my door panels. So, little by little, it's all getting there. Next thing is going to be the dashboard. That's next on my list. Dashboard and steering wheel. I'm probably going to do a whole steering column. So, we'll see what happens then. But, piece by piece. Alright, let me know if you guys have any questions. And don't forget to... Uh, like my page, like my comments, like my videos, and follow me. I post different stuff whenever I have a chance, and if you guys have questions, let me know. Later.